Here we go. Good morning. And man, this morning, I'm literally here with my hat in my hand. I need your help. But before I talk to you about that, click like, subscribe, keep those comments coming. Back to the hat in my hand. I have a hybrid solar battery generator abomination that I've sort of got thrust upon me, and I need some help. I need your help, because uh, this thing is, is a mess, and it's one of those messes when you go to people for help, nobody wants to touch it. And so then I'm thinking in the back of my mind, it's like, maybe I shouldn't be touching it. Maybe I should be leaving this alone. So here's the scenario. Got a job sold, 24KW to a house, single family dwelling. They have solar going in. I work with this solar company all the time. That's beautiful. We do this great. I'm submitting a permit application to a good friend of mine at the building safety department. And got a good rapport. And I get a phone call from the inspector directly. And he says, hey, saw your permit application. And the answer is no. It's like, what do you mean no? So here's what happened. Is the solar uh, people installed, unbeknownst to me, a battery backup system just kind of did it I guess it sort of happened you know sometimes you fall down on the ground and get up and there's a battery backup system in your pocket how that get there and I found out from my building inspector instead of from my contractor I'm not bitter I'll work through this but in the meantime I need your help we're gonna go to the whiteboard because there's some details this is an in phase IQ 8 uh, they've got a small battery system there that they claim is not for backup. But my inspector, and here's the crooks of the matter, my inspector says, James, you need to show me on the single line diagram how for sure that the battery can't backfeed into the system while the generator is on. And we're going to go to the board and we're going to flush this out. Here is the current situation. If you look at this diagram, what's already done is in green, okay? So we've got our, our uh, solar panels, the combiner, battery backup, and the IQ8 going through a disconnect feeds to a two pole 40 that's in this existing panel. Here's your utility meter. So the challenge is, the inspector wants me to address, I need your help with, is we're going to install the 24KW go through an ATS, do our normal feed. So I have two options and you guys, you smart people, and there's a super smart guy in Austin, Texas who will be watching this. The IQ8 has a space right here in the panel to put in a generator breaker. Mine's, what my question is, if we do this option, uh, will it power sense? Holy cow. Will it power sense and shut off the PV? Okay, that's one. So in other words, if we instead of going through the ATS, if I took my generator directly into this two-pole slot, would the IQ8 be smart enough to, when the generator kicks on, to shut off the solar and the battery? And I don't know. And the people I'm talking to, they don't know either. Here's my second option. I'll do this in black, which I like better is right here is to put in a load shed module or basically a normally closed contact, okay, that is controlled by the ATS. As you guys know, the Genrac has four sets of uh, normally closed contacts. So we could do is then control the input. So when the power goes off, ATS kicks on at the same time, the ATS then would shut off any input from the solar and the battery array. We have now a, me uh, a mechanical disconnect. I think that solves the problem, but that's why I need your input. Is there an easier way beyond these two options to combine a system that's already in place mostly without me knowing? Um, the generator really needs to go in. What's your input? I'm looking forward to it, and that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Looking forward to your comments and your input. Click like and subscribe. You guys have a great day.